This is my little Ella daughter, Sparkle. She is an odd-eyed smoke Mike. And the only way you can see the smoke is if you part the hair up here in the head. And you can see under the black, it's pure white. So really good smoke because from a distance, she looks like a traditional Mike. And you only see the smoke, like I said, if you part the hair. And it's the root. And that's a pretty cool coloring. She's also odd-eyed. The only problem is she's been undersized since she was a baby. And she's now like six months old. And she only weighs three and a half pounds. So I'm going to hang on to her for a while and see if she grows to normal size. I've had her checked by the vet and there's nothing wrong with her. But she is... A little gerbil, a little midget, a little toy bobtail, toy Japanese bobtail. But she's very sweet. Her is an excellent like coat like velvet. And she's got the, the makings of a normal size cat. She's got um she's got length to her head and viewed in profile. She's got a long body. She's got you know pretty long legs she just is about two months behind on her size um, so we're kind of waiting to see what happens with her I know I could grand her I just don't know if she's cut out for breeding she's like Thumbelina you know Sure, she can get pregnant and have babies, but they might be tiny like her, and that's not really good. I mean, I guess there's small ver versions of every animal, including people, but and sometimes it can be an indication that there's something going on. Here's Ricky, he's got to get in the act here. Now, Ricky's just uh, about 12 weeks now. And he's the same size. He's a little smaller than her. So, bobtails normally grow about a pound a month. And they level off at six to eight months. But, um, Thumbelina is only three and a half pounds at six months. Going on seven months, too. So, yes. Should be seven months in October. Yes, you will. End of October. Anyhow, that's my little um, Sparkle. Sparkle K, I call her. Sparkle Plenty is her official name. And she's Ella and uh, Nico's daughter. Nico's the uh, Carillion long hair that I got from Russia to introduce to my Japanese bobtail breeding program and to increase the the health and the genetic diversity of my lines. I would kind of like to grant her because she'd be the first uh, outcross Japanese bobtail grand in CFA. And that's kind of cool. We like to make history when possible, don't we, Miss Sparkle? She's so damn cute and she's so sweet. I just wish she would grow. But I have hope. And we'll wait and see how that goes. Ricky, you are a monster. You're a toy monster. He's like, I know. Okay, so that's Sparkle. And um, little Ricky from Coco's Litter. And then up here we have Max, who's also trying to get in to the act. Okay, that's it for now.